Hey all, this is Zerst, and welcome back to XCOM, to the last, the last Exalt mission of the game. Damn, feels like it's been a while, but we're just gonna set everyone up on Overwatch, and uh, hopefully pull this off without getting peeped by anything very, very dangerous. Okay. Doesn't look like anything is seeing us yet. That's good. There's a lot of stuff moving around, though, out there. Okay. Where is Lucas? Okay. He's there. I need this motion track to constantly keep me updated. Okay, so we're going to trigger a lot of singletons here, but that's all right. Moving Let me get out. here right now. Enemy spotted. We got the QRF is ready to hack one of the right in the... Relays, Commander. Looks like we have the QRF in that, and that data will be pod, ours. that uh, alleyway. That's not great. Watch the flanks. I know, I know, Lucas. It's all right. We got the flanks watched. You successfully hacked the relay, Commander, while also disrupting Exalt's communication system. There's a guy in that we'll building, to too. looking for any nearby relays to get the remaining data. Let's get moving. Yeah. Oh, it's not a QRF. It's just a three-man. Okay, that's fine. They're already hacked. I'm not going to double hack now. It's going to give me an extra turn to do work on these nut jobs. Okay. So we're going to get a proxy mine right in that general direction. And the reason I took... Well, first of all, I love proxy mines. But the other reason I took Dark Initiative here is that I can set off proxy mines with grenades. So, for obvious reasons, you can put two and two together on why that is freaking awesome for a mission like this. Let's get a proxy up. Right where I want it. Oh wow, it's actually kind of a smaller explosive radius than I expected. These guys are pretty far out, but that's not too bad. It's like far out, man. Uh, at least we'll have vision of these proxies. So we can just at least we have a lot of proxies. Let's just start tossing them. Uh yeah, let's go right there on that proxy. In case the guy decides to move in any way. <laughs> You guys are going to have fun in a second. Dark Initiative can go here and toss a grenade when we're damn well ready. Now we can clean these guys up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a fun time with you all. This is going to hurt. That was a nice win. All right, now we got some shots on Yoko here. Guaranteed to take that guy down. Pretty much guaranteed to take that guy down, too. We do have in the zones. Let's make advantage of that. One down. Clearing our operatives way, baby. That's what in the zone is for. Still doing work. Got some adrenaline surge, but that don't matter. Get Macon on this corner. The sooner the better. We'll get that gun to work for us pretty quick. Alright. Exalt not happy right now, for obvious reasons. Sniper is gonna hang out. Gonna reload. Okay, fine. Dude doesn't have vision of me, so that's good to me. Okay, we got extra hostile contacts, but that's fine. That's what grenades and proxies are for, and that's why our operative is that damn quick. Beautiful. Okay, we got another one in the way, but we'll be able to handle him with a proxy. Okay. That's a blown up car, but that's alright. Now, my turn yet? Better be. There we go. So, we're gonna hack. Commander, we've recovered the last of the data. We just need to get our operative to the evac zone. Our operative is definitely going to the evac updated. zone right now. I am not wasting any time getting Lucas back here. Um, yeah, we're gonna get him here. I can probably go here, honestly, with run and gun, and then just double tap something. Make our lives easier for the rest of our squad. So let's run and gun. Sprint and spray. Sprint and spray, indeed. We're going to take that guy out with Lucas, and that'll be Order an extra little, on the move. little feather in his cap for this mission. There's another guy in Go there out. somewhere. There he is. I knew he was there. We're going to rapid fire. 64 on that 62 on that guy. It's not bad. This will be a guaranteed kill, so let's do that. 
Nice. Not a guaranteed kills and like he's gonna hit everything, but guaranteed is and if he connects, it'll be no problem. So my colon's gonna come out here. Some good shots on this now. 82%. Gone. Gone. That sounded like half laser, half not laser, I guess. They couldn't decide what kind of weapon I was actually using. Hey, do we have an extra proxy? I think we do. Get a proxy in here, please. Wow, I can't see. There we go. Proxy. Oh, can't shoot a proxy on that guy. I'm gonna move a little closer. That's fine. No worries. I got some body shield on. Yeah, let's get let's get one for all down. We're just launching proxies. Get that grenade a little safer for Dark Initiative. Can we actually get the toss from here? Yeah, we can. All right, so I'm not even gonna bother moving Dark Initiative. I may just this is one tile closer. It may be one tile okay. closer to extract at some point. So whatever. Okay, proxy down. This guy's gonna have a really bad day. Yep. The mine is at that location, but more importantly, the grenade is also at that location. Enjoy. Catch. Au revoir, mes amis! Boop. 18 damage, one go. Not too bad, not bad. Yoko, just reload. Let me drop in some more bodies before this mission is out. Hey, there's a guy. There's another guy. That's a lot of guys. Okay, we'll take care of those guys. Well, Knups, the first thing you're going to do, my friend, is you're going to come over here and get the hell off the mission, and then we'll figure out how to deal with these dirt bags. I was going to use a naughtier word, but I decided against it. For the sake of my viewing public, lest they think I'm crass. But you, you already know I'm crass, so that's alright. Get out of here. Off. Operative is clear. That's pretty much all we needed. We've secured our covert operative along with the new data at the extraction point. Strike one can either head to the evac zone to return to HQ now, or stay and secure the area from any remaining hostiles. I'm going to get update. the hell out of here, Bradford. Hope you don't mind, but first I need to kill some dudes. They're in my way. Cool. Alien neutralisé. Neutralisé, c'est vrai. All right. Oh, we can even get a nice. Well, it's pretty close range on Yoko, so it's gonna be a little annoying. But let's get um, another proxy in position. God, I love that ability. All right, one for all down, please. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to be pretty safe about this. I don't want to take any unnecessary risks at this point, obviously. But I'm not taking any risks at this point. Let's just get everyone out and we'll be fine. We'll be able to extract next turn. So where's that proxy? Hey there, proxy. Right there. And we can have Dark Initiative blow him the crap up with another grenade. Because that's just how we roll, friend. That's just how we roll. Frag out. Is this overkill? Probably. But you know what? <laughs> There's no kill like overkill. All right, Yoko, Overwatch. Something else comes in here. It's gonna be a bad scene. I kind of like the setup for the uh, exalt missions, though. Proxy plus grenades make me a happy boy. Dangerous as hell. All right, let's get the hell out. We're done. No sense waiting and wasting time. I don't want to get anyone get injured here. I just want to be able to get out of here and kill exalt for good finally get that thorn in our side out of here. Commander. Bingo, and Cairo get out. Marchando. Beautiful. Okay, well we're just gonna overwatch on everyone, we're just gonna extract after this. I feel, Commander. That was a perfect mission. Extract. Done. Beautiful. Hot gift, despite giving us, I mean luckily the relay setup was good. That I, I can't lie about. That was actually okay. Uh, but everything else about that mission was kind of poopy. I can't say I've ever seen an operation go that smoothly. Excellent work, Commander. Yeah, that actually went really smoothly. For once, I don't think Shen is being an asshole. Um, we're gonna chop Makon, so whatever I pick here doesn't really matter. But for now, let's just take extra conditioning because we can. She'd be one of the few, I think, that I could forego extra conditioning for either rapid fire or vital point targeting. Just because, I mean, you know, every shot that she shoots is better that way. Let's just give vital point targeting on her, but we're gonna chop her anyway, so no worries. She'll be our new Valkyrie. 
Very nice. And 150 credits. It's not in China. So it seems that Mexico, Mexico is the country that is harboring Exalt. Right under our noses, on our home continent no less, uh, the Mexicans were the ones with lots and lots of alien sympathies. So we had a couple guys on this mission. We got to make sure we have everyone I need for the Exalt mission. I'm probably going to need to fatigue out one or two, but I'm just going to take this one as soon as possible. I want to finish it this year before the new year kicks around because the Exalt mission as it stands, you can have aliens show up and in the new year, that's when the aliens get new tech and new kit. So if we can take Exalt down this year, it'll prevent like something really nasty from showing up. Like, I don't know, like a Muton Elite with super amounts of promotion or something crazy. So I'm just going to quickly check through the barracks. I mean, there's no more time. I mean, no reason for me to hide who's going on this mission. So I'll probably be able to handle this out before the end of the year. Yeah, no worries, I think. All right. Yeah, so let's go down the list. Saint in command, no question. He's ready to go. Uh, Wolf is going to be our sniper. One day in the Psychic Labs, pass or fail, he's getting on that mission. Uh, Cairo, Mech, just went on that mission, but she has a fatigue roll of just four days, so we'll be able to squeeze it in this year, no problem. Remember, December's 31 days, so no worries. We're kind of close. We'll get it within the first year. Uh, Nova, we didn't take her on that mission, so she's obviously ready to go. Uh, Yorg is ready to go as an infantry. Uh, Master Sergeant Yorg, why the hell not? Solid, solid clutch, and Macomb is ready to get chopped, so we're fine on that. Dane as a gunner, right there, ready to go. Uh, that one guy as a rocketeer. Uh, how much time do you need to get ready? This is another fatigue, I think. That one guy, one day, so no problem. That one guy will be ready to go shortly. Uh, Zoidberg as the medic. I don't think he took any damage, so he should be ready to go as well. I think he's already ready to go. E yep, Zoidberg's ready to go. So extra bit of med kits because this mission can get fuzzy. We'll take three med kits on Zoidberg and have a shadow device in case something goes really haywire, and then we'll be okay. Excellent is a support engineer, um, and he is, I know, ready to go, because I checked. He's going to be in like a day or less. Ex eight hours, there we go. So Excellent's all set, and then we have one more slot, and I'm debating whether to take an extra sniper or take an extra assault class. And I I'm, I'm, was normally going to go double assault, no question, because it's just going to be so much easier just to blow everyone's brains out. Uh, but given that Nova kind of works as a weird, insanely dangerous hybrid of Assault and Scout, I was thinking having another long-range sniper, um, while Wolf is kind of the find-a-good-position-stick-and-move kind of sniper to do this, wouldn't be bad. Though given how that last mission went, I'm thinking I may even take a Dark Initiative out uh, with the grenades that can set off the proxies so easily. But then again, we have another Rocketeer on this mission too, so that's not so bad as options in general. Um, so we have four days to decide on that last slot because we gotta wait till our mech comes out of there. I don't wanna take fatigue people on this mission, that would be a shame. But that is the kit for the Exalt squad. I'm not gonna accuse the country yet because it slows down the um, the Hologlobe thing, but we'll we'll be ready on December 29th to accuse them. Contact and we'll know where to go. Detected. Map of the Earth abductor, probably gonna abduct, probably not a landing, but who knows. Flight Officer Panzer, he's like, I don't want to do this anymore! Be quiet. We have a job for you to do, man. Don't you freaking talk back to me. All right. Enemy he's good. Is he's good. He's fine. He's fine. We're going to abort, and he's fine. Yeah, it's an abductor. We know it's an abductor. We have an abduction mission, probably, or a landing at this point. We could. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's no, fine. Abduction site. Okay, cool. Commander. We have 90 modern Canada. Abductions in progress. Okay. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. So obviously we're not going to take anyone that we're taking on the Exalt mission on this abduction. Oh, I just realized, have we not had a council mission yet this month? I don't think we have. Oh, that would be a colossal pain in my tuchus if I had to handle that one. But anyway, Canadian abduction. Let's do it. All right. So knowing who we're kidding him out, we know Van Doren's going to be in command of this mission, so we're not taking him on the Exalt assault. Uh, that was not supposed to be a joke. I just, you know, we're not going to be assaulting Exalt with him. Uh, probably going to take Reaper as infantry on this mission because everyone else is out and unavailable. Yep. So Reaper, you get the nod. He's been doing more and more missions lately. He's been doing very well for himself. I'm pleased with how Reaper is turning into one heck of an infantry. We have, it's just a medium, so I mean, this is the number of packs, again, I have to reiterate, this could be nasty packs, but we got Natty Janitor out there, cleaning up with a the sniper rifle. Uh, let's see, 
Saints commanding. We have Zergen available. We can also take Rat Dog. Or we can take Tony. Um, I'm just thinking of deployments for Exalt. Can't take Tony now, obviously. Uh, let's get Zergen closer to Master Sergeant, I think. Rat Dog would be a bad thing, but last time we had a mission on medium. Roadway corridor, okay. So, as much as I want to take Rat Dog, I think some of the Sprinter's going to be critical on this one. So, Zergen it is. Let's go Scout. We can either take Mammy or Leif. They're both pretty close promotions. Uh, let's go in the first one of the bunch. Let's take Mammy. Get him out there. Um, he does have the hit and run, so that may be very useful for that kind of roadway corridor as we saw last time. So, Scout Sniper, Assault Infantry Gunner. So, we need Rockets and we need Support. Uh, that one guy is going to be our Rocketeer for the Exalt mission, so I guess we can take Tank on this one. Get him a little closer to the promotion. Though, Meepiet Sergeant already has as good aim. Uh, I, kinda, I really kind of want to take Meepy. I guess Tank is closer on promotions, though. Meepy's still 500 away. Uh, yeah. Let's take Tank for now. Uh, and then we'll go Engineer and Medic. So Zoidberg and Excellent are already spoken for, so I'm not going to take those. I guess we can take Layla. Yeah, we could take Layla. Uh, should we try for Capture on this one? Yeah, I don't think I really need to. We can take Maximus here on a medium mission. Oh, we could take Zyther, though. zyther has got a little bit of that, a uh, little bit of everything. But Maximus is about to get promoted. What promotion is this on Maximus? It's going to be Dense Smoke. Okay, so it's a pretty important promotion. I'm going to take Maximus out on this. Even though I, this is a perfect mission to take Zyther on. Maximus is so close. So close to that promotion. I'm going to take him. And then, yeah, I'm going to take Layla. Why not? We have a support medic. Let's take a Boom Boom Engineer. I'm going to take Packmaster, I think. I've been thinking about this a little bit. Uh, Packmaster makes sense, because then we're going to leap that into Bombard, and we'll have more grenades to fire at. And we'll see if this goes... I mean, limited use items and mechanized systems receive additional use. So this should go for basic grenades as well. This will make it a little easier to take an arc thrower and justify that a little better. Perfect. So, Packmaster. Let's go. And that's about perfect. So, let's take this mission on. Make items available. We've got a couple youngins here. we got... Uh, Natty Jenner is the Corporal Sniper, and we've got uh, Sergeant Tanwar here about to get promoted. So that's pretty good. we still got a pretty good squad. I already did that. Let's load them out. Load out. Uh, this is one of our Aegis carriers, yes. So let's go auto laser? Auto rifle. That's what I need. Uh, probably armor piercing ammo. No question on that. Plus a scope. It's a shorter mission, so I probably need as many medkits as we normally do. Uh, Reaper can go with the Aegis and the Heavy Gauss. A uh, little bit of Chitin to make him safer and probably a scope. Okay, that works. 88 aim. Not the best, but he's improving slowly. And that's all we can ask for. Uh, Carapace. Gauss long rifle in case there's mech. And alloy bipod and a scope. 90 base aim. Not bad. Not bad. Zergen with the uh, impact armor on. There's a little bit of Aegis for you, Alloy Cannon, Breaching Ammo, and that good old-fashioned Chitin Plate. God, I love me some of that. Okay, good. Uh, Mammy, loading out again. And despite this being a roadway map, I still think it's useful to have the Alloy Cannon with the Hit and Run. Because of Hit and Run only. If it was not, I'd probably take a different uh, kind of weapon. But with the Hit and Run, the Alloy Cannon is worth it. We can step out, take a shot, and get back in without having to dedicate ourselves to a particular type of cover. So we got that there, we got the chitin plate, now we're back up to 15 hit points. I love it. Okay. Tank. Load out with a stutter gun, recoilless rifle. Ah, ah. Recoilless rifle. Carapace armor, double rockets. I love it. Maximus. Maximus. Uh, let's go with... Can we go Aurora on him? You have pretty good hit points already. That's only 10, though. I've been seeing too many... 10 damage shots to make me comfortable with that. Maybe maybe after another promotion, okay, buddy? <laughs> That's just, I'm just not a risk I'm willing to take with one of my uh, with my up-and-coming medics right now. So we'll take uh, medkit as backup and chem for obvious reasons. Don't want to be caught out when there's mech uh, in the field. And now that we have lots of grenades to play with, like triple grenade, we can pretty much justify an arc thrower. May see if we can get a capture. If not, whatever. It's no big deal. We'll make do. And let's get a Gauss rifle up and a Carapace armor. Well, if we're trying for captures, let's get a uh, Shatter Ray. Give that aim a little bit better, too. All right, that looks pretty good. So triple grenade, arc thrower with four uses, I think, which is kind of ludicrous. 
It's not bad. And uh, all the good stuff. Okay, I think that's pretty much what we want for this crew. And this is fine. I'm just thinking... Let me check one thing. I had I had a inkling in the back of my mind. This. I want to do this. Yeah. So we could use the arc thrower to repair mechs. If we start fielding more mechs, this is going to be important. Because it costs meld, I don't really want to take it on. But, um, yeah. Something to think about. We have 166 credits, though. That's nice. We're going to save that for the interceptors. They're not going to be cheap. How much is it again to buy the interceptor? Sorry, I'm doing this before the mission because it's important for my planning for the future as I think about this between, uh, between rounds. Uh, 150 initial cost. Okay, so we need 450. We'll have that flat beginning next month easily and then we can go to the mech chopping later okay fine that's fine i want to make sure i had enough cash for that before we go in all right once we're out of canada we have everything we want here we got gauss long rifle we got everything we need perfect let's take this mission on take it home and get ready for the exalt mission the next time rock on let's go And he's like, ah, help me! Yeah, I'm falling and I can't get up. That kind of always cracks me up. The drop site for this operation. Oh, it's this Canada. one. <laughs> We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction <laughs> attempts coming in from the cities oh, around the world. Oh, this one's fun. You'll be deploying at the site of the latest report. Thank you, Bradford. I appreciate your due diligence in this matter. Oh, let's see which side we get: the XCOM side or the alien side. Central. Alien side. Okay, so this is a little more dangerous than it was. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Not a lot of cover Watch to be had here. People. And we have to go through a lot of low ground in order to assault the high ground. And that generally is what is called as crap. But we'll hopefully try to make do. We have a sniper that can really make use of this perch. Let's get Mammy up here. Sorry, Mammy was right there. Let's get that motion track and see where the packs are. We got a pack right there. Sitting right there. Oh, that's not funny. Okay. We gotta get Natty Janitor with a decent shot on all of this. So that's gonna be very important. Where is Natty Franklin? Um, probably here. We do have low profile on Natty, which makes sense. I don't wanna put her back here. There's no cover to be had. Don't put her here because I want her to be able to fire, or at least steady. But there's gonna be a nasty pack right from the get go, so I can't mess with this too much. I'm on the move. I think what I may do is use this opportunity to set up and then. Activate it when I'm damn well ready. The pack is a little out to the west, so we may be able to do this without alerting them. Uh, Sugar can stay behind stuff and just toss grenades. Tank is going to need to be able to toss rockets where I want him to. So probably here and then rocket wherever, though this will probably be better. It may also peak. Uh, let's take let's take tank there. I'm on the move. Set up that steady. Reaper, I need Reaper up in the front line. This may activate aye, that aye, pack. Commander. No. Really? Okay, so we just got luck. We lucked out a little. So where is that relative to us? How close is it actually? Now we have a sense of distance. The sense of distance. So this is actually right there. It's not that close actually. It's not on the low ground. So we can probably move out and can uh, not make contact yet. That's that's good actually. That's really, really good. Because Van Dorn is willing to survive, I'm more willing to put him out there. Uh, Maximus, let's put Mox right there, probably. Zergen's gonna have to be dashing down doing his work, so I'm not worried about putting him on a corner quite yet. Mammy's fine. Sugar can sit behind stuff. So I have, don't have a lot of priority people to put on corners. This is actually good news for me. I'm actually gonna get Rush out here. Uh, mainly because Maximus doesn't need to be there, and the Rush can actually toss a battle scan and tell us what we're dealing with. Zergen, get out here. Roger that. Probably gonna need you to bum rush up there and kill something. Sugar, get behind this for now. Okay. And toss grenades easily. And then Maximus will be able to toss support wherever he needs to go. Alright, that actually works out pretty well. There's just okay. enough cover for an eight-man team up here. And probably one extra here, but whatever. I need to know what I'm dealing with. So, Mammy, give me that battle scan, and as we know from the motion track, it appears that pack is just just off of the low ground so if we're lucky we won't have to fight too much across the low ground in order to get to this new high ground up here but let's see what's up here actually pack wise I would love to know what I'm dealing with it's a five 
Five alien pack, it looks like. Okay, we got what? What? How'd that activate? I tossed a battle scan, you twit. No, seriously, how did that even activate? What the hell just happened? No, honestly, how did that even activate? Okay, what do we got? Um, six sectoids. Okay, so not even a commander among them. Interesting. I'm not sure how the pack activated, because... Was it based on step out? That's weird. That's weird on a lot of levels. Alright, let me pistol up the Overwatch. We're not hitting anything with shotgun from over here. Natty Franklin, I wish I could take a shot with you. But you're not a snapshot type person. Alright, so we're going to just be poking up a bunch of Overwatches and watching them run into it. Hopefully. Alright, we have eyes on them. They don't have eyes on us. So we'll see what they're going to be doing. They're going to be amping each other up. Or just be really confused about what to do. Not a, lot of cover, not a lot of cover to be had here. They're going to all take cover now, and Natty's job is going to be that much harder. But we have grenades. We have rockets. This is going to be... I feel like this is going to be a protracted siege warfare, which I'm not a fan of, especially with psychic spewing sectoids, but whatever. They're all going to link and do nasty stuff to us. Got mutons, too. He's coming down. Nice. 94%. Ooh, that's a tough little sectoid. He, if it weren't for that mine merge, it would have would have been in a bad way here. Are you serious? Did you just seriously mind frame my sniper? God damn it. Ah, oh, God. Frickin' sectoids, man. Enemy fire here! Frickin' sectoids, man. Alright. I don't think I have anyone with Science Fire on this mission, too, so I can't clear the, the Mind Fray. That's a pain in my ass right there. Oh, Van Dorn knows how to deal with that. Target Seven down. damage from elevated ground. Booyah. We can kill that guy with suppression, too. The guy with the two hit points. That's fine. Suppress the other feller. So Natty Franklin is not going to be doing any shooting anytime soon. It was a very smart target to Mind Fray, I do have to say. They really don't like Van Dorn. They know. They've heard the legend of Van Dorn. They're like, we killed you here once, nearly, and now we've come to finish the job. We are Sectoid. We are Legion. They're just a bunch of pricks, really. Yeah, 36%. These odds are now abysmal, uh, thanks to the Mind Fray. Okay, well, we can't do much about this. So let's just do what we can about this. We have Double Shot with Reaper. Yeah, we're going to definitely suppress that with damage with Van Dorn, I think. Tenoir, do you see anything? Moxibus can get out here and do stuff, I think, from this corner. He may get flanked, but at least be able to put fire down. And can we actually get rockets on target from here? Not from where the sector is standing. Oh, actually, I can. Holy hell. I actually have the range on this. I did not think I would have the range on it. Yeah, look at that. Son of a gun. I actually have range on this. Okay, so we can do work. Never mind. I was about to say this is kind of getting bullshit. The one person who could really hit this reliably and I was trying to get experience with um, got... <laughs> Whatever. He's dead. Alright, so, Sniper doing not much here, but that's okay. Tanoir, come out here. Good to go. Cool, we can do some work on this. 52, can you mind fray for a better luck? 9%? Oh, the mind merge give him extra will. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. That's not, that's not wrong, that's right. Ho oh, ho! Let's get that grenade down here, can we? No, we need a little closer to make that grenade work. Which we, oh, we may be able to do that. Okay. Can we get a little further? To really arc that sucker? No, nah, not really. That's all right. Uh, tank. I do really want to waste a rocket on a freaking sectoid. I don't really, but without the sniper to do what I need to, I don't really have a choice, I think. Ugh. All right. Well, Reaper, can we do some work here? Nice. 69. Beautiful. Now, now Samir's not going to get flanked, which is great. Uh, Reaper has another shot. Mammy has a shot, but that's not going to be worth diddly. Yeah, this is the most annoying thing. The Mind Fray, the one person I want to take these shots. Whatever, you know what? Mind Fray be damned. 36%. Let's go. That would be hilarious if she hit regardless, but... Can't hope for everything here. Alright, Reaper, take a swing. We could just suppress that guy. Until we have someone better to take a shot. Uh, let's go. Let's take a shot. There you go. Reaper... 
reaping as his namesake would suggest. Honestly, very, very good work. Very, very good work. Uh, I guess we'll just wait here with... Yep, let's do that. Zergen can probably go here and be covered. Though with elevated ground, the sectoids may be able to get him. So I'm going to wait with Zergen. Just overwatch that pistol. Make that work for you. Mammy, overwatch that pistol. Make that work for you. It's so funny. All right, and tank, we're going to save that rocket for when it actually matters, so why don't we sit back here a little bit. And we're going to have to be very careful moving up along this line as well. Those sectoids are going to be annoying, and we don't want to run into those mutons while we're still trying to crawl up uh, the better position here. Okay, that's definitely flankable and murderable by Zergen, so that's good. He's getting out. Okay, he's bugging out pretty hard. So we don't have any overwatch, so now's a good time to rush in here and take these positions and start moving up. Okay, we're going to run and gun and kill this sectoid from close range. Oh, we can't actually get back here? No, we can. It's a little risky to do this, but it should be fine. Yeah, that's good. This will be a flank on the sectoid. It's not cover? No, it is cover. It's just not showing me it. All right, go. Oh, sorry, with the shotgun, please. Thank you. That was almost scary. I almost tried to pistol the guy to death, and that would have been not very, very productive. All right, right there. Zergen's going to rush off a little bit here. Perfect. Hey, buddy. Would you like my shotgun in your face? No, sir, I would not. Sorry. Just doing my job. Just doing my job. All right. One sectoid's up there. But the important uh, thing I need to do right now is get everyone over here without sectoids having vision. And then get more awareness of what I'm looking at. If the mutons are coming up, I need to, I need to know that. It's unlikely they will be at this point, but I need to be sure. I can't just be guessing. Uh, let's get out of vision line of these sectoids. Let's keep right there. Yeah, let's go. Let's see where the mutons are at. So briefly, I know. Okay, just the sectoid for now. So it's pretty safe to rush down into these positions. I'm going to set up Natty Franklin over there on where Reaper is right now. But Reaper, I'm going to put... Oh, I can't even get him to that position. Are you serious right now? Wow, his movement really does blow. Okay. Oh, no, he got full cover here. Affirmative. It's Moving elevated out. ground. It may take a, a bit of a... to the chin, but we'll be all right. That's fine. Uh, Maximus, get over here, and you're going to hunker with you. Heading there now. And then we're going to have to take these positions and fight uphill. That's why the position from where XCOM starts is so much better than this alien position. Dislodging aliens when they're here is annoying, but overall, as a fighting position is much, much better. Moving I'm keeping everyone out of sight here for obvious reasons. I don't want to be shot at when I'm in the low ground like this badly. Sugar? Yeah, Sugar is not in a good spot right now. I kind of moved her where Van Dorn was and get back behind that truck next turn. Running. Good enough. Natty, why don't you go here? You're not going to be able to hit a damn thing anyway. Let's reload. Um, tank, in this case, let's get Tank right there and steadying yeah. I'm on it, Commander. Tank, get there and steady. Maximus Overwatch in case that sectoid runs out, and we'll go. It's a little dangerous to keep Maximus like this. He may get hit in the face by that sectoid, but... My guess is the sectoid is not going to show its ugly face. Pretty much that's what happened. Okay. So, we know mutons are out there. we got to be careful about triggering those, especially when we're going to be fighting uphill. But until such time, though, I have been Nurse. This has been XCOM, and we are on the very verge of launching that anti-exalt base raid mission. Uh, in very, very short order. Can't wait to bring that to you. Until such time, however, uh, you'll just have to wait for it. I have a nurse. I'll see you all next time. Till then.